Cosmo was a member of the Mesquite PD since 2017 and died while on duty Monday, working to help determine the cause of his death as Texas A&M's Veterinary Medical Teaching Hospital. More than just a canine, Cosmo was a member of the Mesquite Police Department and did what any other officer would do, protect and serve. These dogs aren't just dogs to us. These are, uh, these are members of our police family. Uh, you know, Cosmo was an amazing uh, and loyal dog. Um, and ultimately, he gave his life uh, last or night before last doing what he was trained to do. Lieutenant Stephen Biggs with the Mesquite Police Department says canines are officers too, and they are trained accordingly. They're trained for a particular purpose, and ultimately they know that they have to give, give their life so a life of an officer can be, can be saved. And, uh, that's potentially what happened the other night. Monday morning around 2.40 a.m., the Mesquite Police Department was called in to assist a neighboring department in the pursuit of multiple aggravated robbery suspects. During the pursuit, spike strips were deployed disabling the suspect's vehicle, and the suspects fled on foot. That's when K-9 Cosmo was deployed in an attempt to locate the suspects. We eventually, with the, with the help of other K-9 and a helicopter, we located uh, all of the robbery suspects, but Cosmo was still not located um, about an hour and a half after initial pursuit of the foot pursuit took place. We, we located Cosmo in the woods and he was deceased. A necropsy, also known as an animal autopsy, is being conducted by Texas A&M's Veterinary Medical Teaching Hospital to determine the manner of Cosmo's death. Thankful for Texas A&M PD and the Veterinary Medical Teaching Hospital, Big says Aggieland Resources have been there every step of the way. They had officers waiting for us there to uh, as kind of a procession to, to bring in Cosmo. As far as the work they're doing, obviously a &M, uh, their veterinary program is considered one of the best in the nation. We know Cosmo's in good hands. We know if, if, if he did die at, at the hands of someone else, that will be determined. They will find that out. There's, there is no doubt. Texas A&M University PD says when they heard of the loss of Cosmo, they did what any other agency would do, assist. We were honored to step up and and assist as much as we could. Uh, we certainly, our thoughts and prayers are st certainly with uh, the Mesquite Police Department and we're here to help them in any way we can. Also helping in a different way is creating a lasting memory, which is exactly what a judge of Region 20's United States Police Canine Association certification and competition did by capturing this video of the two working together just last week. When you get called to a scene with a dog, they're not calling you, they're calling the one you're bringing to it. And in canine, in the canine world, we have to look for violent felons sometimes, murder suspects, egg robbery suspects, and, and the, we have to perform. And that's why we train and train and train and train. And that's what was part of this competition was this training. Lieutenant Vick says they are going to wait and see what the necropsy tells them, and that will determine if any additional charges will be filed. Reporting from Texas A&M, Hannah King, KRHD News.